okay. But just I have a little, a little musing and going in my mind while well, I drive. I'm not going to interact, I'm not, I'm not going to look on the phone at all because I'm drive. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a reasoning as if you were sitting beside me and we were talking. I'm not going to engage in a conversation. None down. Alright. Because something kind of uh, niggle me. There's a niggle me. And I think about the use of the word indiscipline that's been thrown around a lot lately. Indiscipline. People are indiscipline. People lack discipline and people are irresponsible. We're not responsible in taking care of each other. Um, these irresponsible and indisciplined people keep going out on the road. So I just want to I just want us to examine the word in discipline a bit. Now I've got it for long, long, long. But come with me. Indisciplined. In the context that is being thrown around on a daily basis in our environment. Right now, I am in Jamaica. And it's being, it's being thrown around outside of here too. But for the context of this conversation, I'm going to focus on. My virgin, I call him. call him back. But for the context of this conversation, I will focus on here. Indisciplined, as relates to people being out on the road. Now, in all these conversations that I have had since early last year, I invite you to examine what you're saying because some of you speak off the top of your heads and you don't think I invite you to I've, I have not committed I have not done very much in by way of commitment in terms of where do I fall on that spectrum but we just want to know if you know exactly what we I use the words for do so people are indisciplined for going out on the road what's out on the road businesses why are these businesses in existence they're the livelihoods of people so if the man on the street is indisciplined for going on out on the road for being on the road and people not handling this freedom well we're not handling the freedom well and look how you make we have to go lock back the place because you're indisciplined now a hardware store is a supermarket some liquor guest houses restaurants all of these all of these establishments are businesses for them to be successful or for, for them to be even feasible for them to be sustainable they need customers customers are people the people who go out on the road now if you open up the place and allow business to open people have to go in because people are customers business is not only formal in the in a in the form of a business a, a, a building business is also um that which takes place as an a, a one-off event and when i say event now don't, don't focus on entertainment because I'm not just talking about stage shows and I'm not talking about me at all. Um, your wedding. Your wedding, that's business. For you, it's your personal milestone and it means everything to you. That's, that's your life. That's the most, one of the most significant things that's going to happen to you in your life. Your wedding. But that's some other people's business. And so, for every single one of you there, for every head that comes through the door that represents money, it represents being able to maintain this economy. Because the economy is not only being maintained by money being earned from COVID. It's being maintained by us participating in regular life. I just want us to understand what we're saying when we say words like indiscipline. Because I really want the Prime Minister to stop waving that around. It's fucking disgusting. People are not indisciplined. People are alive. And while we're alive, we want to live. Living is not just about partying and entertainment. But partying and entertainment maintains our sanity. 
our psychological well-being it maintains our mind this is our socialize to let off steam to relax so back to indiscipline because when we drive me can't do nothing but think i'm here alone i drive <laughs> i'm not nobody we talk to so i talk to myself i know more i sure may i talk to myself but we don't know and ask that you also demand better better responsibility in throwing our words around demand more accountability for the words we use because these words are used to criminalize people who is people us me and you so that when somebody takes away somebody else's human rights they feel justified because this person has been vilified for doing regular normal human things so when people engage in the business of life it's not in discipline you say all these things we say all these things and we don't think about the implications of the things that we say we don't think so as far as we're concerned you drop the mantle and you you, you ask I'm not asking much all I'm asking is that you just stay home and mm -hmm. when we let you out we let you out so that you can go out orderly but in order for the supermarket to be successful they need more people to come in and buy more stuff it means that people are going to have to gather you can't open the place and expect to see it still look empty when you open it people are going to move about and people are going to gather now I am not telling you whether you're right or wrong to open the place I'm just saying these are the natural progressions which come from your actions so we're going to share the responsibility of the outcome or you're going to shut the fuck up there's no two ways about this you don't get to say go to road and then come back and say you know what you didn't go to road right fuck you you don't get to do that you do not get to do that and it is about time that the people who consider themselves intellectuals and who consider themselves educated start be behaving in a more responsible manner because I don't want to do it I don't want to drive this fuckery but I want to keep trying to vilify those who you, 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 you consider to be beneath you and nobody's beneath you because for the most part most of is scum nothing is beneath you stop it and we need to stop acting like there are some people here who are less significant nobody's less significant no fucking body's less significant because we are interdependent these are some words where you can fling in there with the indiscipline you know so fucking monotonous we don't have like five words you want to keep throwing around all the time get some more blood clot words there's so many words the english vocabulary is chock full of words learn some more interdependence that's one get familiar with it we need each other you can't preside over empty place you need people you need people and it's people you say i try to preserve People say I try to preserve, right? You can't trick the universe, you know. This is why I'm not socialized with you not too much. Because I'm going to keep trying to trick the universe. And I'm a child of the universe. I don't like you tricking my parent. I'm a parent. I like it neither. So, we're going to use word like indiscipline. 